Today I'm going to be giving you guys an in-depth look at the Oklahoma Player Edition Air Jordan 6s. I recently added these to my collection and I wanted to make sure you guys got a nice detailed look at the shoe. I know not a lot of people get their chance to actually see these shoes in person. And you know over here at the DNA show I love showing you guys all my samples and PEs in my collection. And with me being a Jordan 6 fan I couldn't wait to get this review shot. Now before we get into all the details with these crazy materials we got to talk about the history first. So for those that don't know the Jordan 6 originally came out in 1991. That was the same year that Michael Jordan won his first championship and ever since then the model has been very iconic and we have seen classic OG colorways like the infrareds or carmines which have become some of people's favorite sneakers of all time and I might be saying that because the infrared is my favorite shoe of all time but either way those have been two iconic colorways when it comes to the Jordan 6 model and ever since then we have seen a ton of different releases but not that many player edition shoes. So back in 2018-2019 season Oklahoma announced that they were officially becoming a partner with Jordan brand and with that they they introduced the Air Jordan 4 Oklahoma PE. I've done a video on these in the past if you want to see in-depth look, but that's just a quick glimpse of what this shoe looks like. After we saw that, year over year, as more Jordan brand schools started to come on the roster, we then started to see more sets of PEs. We then saw the Oklahoma 1s hit alongside with all the other Air Jordan 1 PEs, which were amazing. Quality and craftsmanship on these are crazy. I haven't done a review yet, but if you guys want to see one, let me know down below in the comment section. Following the Jordan 1 PE, we then saw the Jordan five come out these are the Oklahomas right here insane quality insane materials I haven't got a chance to do a review on these again if you want to see these let me know down below in the comment section and I'll give you guys all the detailed looks as well also during that time we had the Jordan 9 PE that was a boot that came out as well I don't have those in my collection but I wanted to make sure that I mentioned it and now in current time last year in 2022 we saw the Jordan 6 series come out I've done the Jordan UNC and the Michigan 6 and I finally got the Oklahomas in my collection as you guys know I'm trying to complete this set slowly but surely we'll end up putting the whole set together but today it's time to break down the details on the shoe because these things are crazy bruh oh yeah and if you didn't know by now my name is DJ and this is the DNA show hey! Starting with the outsole, you have your classic Air Jordan 6 bottom, but right here, instead of the translucent kind of clear icy bottoms, it has more of a milky kind of yellow tone kind of tint to it. It is translucent on the pods on the back and the front end, and then you have more of a sail colored instead of a white when it comes to the rubber on the front, middle, and back end of the shoe. And then you have your burgundy red style Air Jordan Jumpman in the middle of the foot. Going up to the midsole, you got the same vibes with the translucent hits on the front and back end. You have your air unit showing right here on the back end with the cell bubble and then you have that same cell colored paint right here on the front and back end of the shoe with the black hitch just going alongside that now going up to the upper there are a lot of dope details starting with the overall material as you can see you have one solid color but this has that cracked leather and they did the same exact material but different colors matching with the school colors on each and every one of the models I can't wait to show you guys the Georgetown's or the Florida Gators and the other ones in hand once I get those but I'm telling you right now those are all fire honestly I don't know which one I like the most we'll talk about that later in another video but either way looking a little bit closer at this cracked leather it's really really soft and as you stroke it the opposite direction you can see how it kind of lifts a little bit where the cracking is at and then around the toe you can definitely see it a lot more as it rolls in on that side of the foot but either way, they have done a really, really good job when it comes to craftsmanship and materials on this sneaker. And honestly, the whole pack. Now, looking at the laces in the front end of the shoe, you have a standard pair of sail flat laces. You got your Oklahoma red just behind that with the mesh. And then on the tab right here above the laces, you have a black suede patch. And then you have a chenille patch with the white branding and then the black stitch behind it and then a red patch behind that. And the 23 on the right foot and a jump man right here on the left foot now going up to the lace lock right here another cool detail as you can see if you look at the top of the lace lock you have the oklahoma university ou logo right here all black lace lock with the red and white logo on the center of that and then you have your translucent tongue air jordan 6 branding right there on the front end that also matches the back end on the heel tab and in the bottoms as you've seen on the outsoles and then like i was talking about on the heel tabs as well you have a black hit right here on the back end around that kind of matching with the midsoles as well now looking at the back end of these two shoes you can see that you have the Oklahoma University branding with the OU stitch on both shoes I kind of like that hit I wouldn't have been mad if they would have maybe done Nike Air on one side and then the OU on the other but at the same time I think it looks really clean let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section now as we go to the inside of the shoe and unlace it just a little bit so you guys can see behind the tongue but when you go to the insole the insole is actually going to be an all black insole with a white Nike Air. Let's get this shoehorn out the way for you guys. As you can see right here, 
Now, this has more of that kind of leather, vinyl kind of finish to it on the insoles, not that classic just fabric that you normally see when it comes to that. So it gives it a lot more premium look and feel to the shoe. Also on both of these sneakers, you have the Nike Air on both of the insoles. Sometimes they like to switch it up with the different branding and logos and different things. But these ones right here, pretty simple, pretty clean. And that's where they did the Nike Air hit compared to adding that to the back end of the shoe. Now I'm sure at this point, you guys are still probably wondering where did I get this shoe? How did I get the shoe? All the different things like that. Shout out to my guys over at Untied. They ended up having the entire set and they actually ended up having a couple extra pairs when it came to the sixes. So I got lucky and I got them from them and I was extremely happy about getting them because as you guys know, I'm trying to complete this set. And during that time, they had other pairs in my size. Like I showed you guys the ones and the fives. And when I saw that, I just had to pull the trigger and get all of them added into my collection because I just didn't have these yet. And you guys know I like the Oregon Ducks and the UNC stuff more, but at the same time, these colorways are super clean and I think these are really great additions to the collection. And I'm looking forward to rocking these. As you guys know, I've been rocking my Oklahoma 4s a little too much. So now that I can switch it up a little bit with the other retros, I'm looking forward to it and I'm excited to rocking them this summer. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit the links down below in the description. I have all the info for Untied, where you guys can contact them to get other PEs for your collection or just everyday sneakers that you would like to purchase as well. And don't forget to use the discount code DNA Show because that'll get you guys free shipping every time you order from their website so normally at this point in the video we talk about price predictions based off of the release date and everything like that but because this is a PE and a sample I wanted to let you guys know it's a little bit different of an audience a little bit more niche it's kind of like fine art the price is kind of based off of what the person is willing to pay for it and yes I know some people are like yo I would never pay thousands of dollars for a sneaker like this but to other people they say hey if I can buy a shoe for five thousand dollars and somebody's willing to pay eight thousand for it I think anybody would be down to make that investment into a sneaker to still make some bread or get something dope in their collection. So there's a lot of different ways you can look at it. At the end of the day, buy what you like, do what you want to do, get what you want to get. I've been collecting PEs for a long time. I love this stuff. I'm not going to stop anytime soon. I just want to kind of put that disclaimer out there as well because I know everybody have their own different opinions and how they feel about the whole situation of copping PEs and everything like that. So if you guys want to see an in-depth review of the ones or the fives, let me know down below in the comment section. I'll make sure I get that out for you guys as well. I know this is a niche audience, but somebody out here got to do it on the internet. And I want to make sure I give you guys nice detailed shots, crispy looks at all these shoes. So if you see anything in my collection that I haven't shot yet, make sure you guys let me know. It's always fun to get the opportunity to educate you guys and share my sneaker pickups at the same time appreciate you guys as always we out I would never let you down. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. Hey, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware of. I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the DNA